So in the next video, we are going to start talking about a force couple system. But before we understand what a force couple system is, we need to understand one, what a couple is, and two, the moment that these couples cause. So that's what we're going to focus quickly on in this video. So imagine, imagine you have two forces. You have one force going this way, and I'll just call that force F. And then you have another force going this way, which I will call minus F. Now, both of these forces have the same magnitude F. It's just that this force right here is going in one direction, whereas this force right here is going in the exact opposite direction. Now, assume that these two forces are in the same plane, in the same 2D plane. One of them is going one way and the other one is going in the opposite direction. They have both the same magnitudes and they are parallel to one another. So in this particular case, these two forces can cause a moment at some point in between or the center of these two force vectors. So this moment you can see is going to be caused this way and I can just call that moment of O. Now, what is that moment of O? Well, if we looked at that center point, I will call point O, we know that force, the top force vector is some distance away from O and that distance I'll just call A. And the same thing for this bottom force vector, it's some distance away from point O, and I'll just call that B. Now, the moment at O is going to be the sum of the moments caused by these two forces. So in the first case, we have this force vector right here that causes a counterclockwise moment about point O, and that value is the magnitude F times the distance a. So here you have the magnitude of F and the distance away from O, which is this distance right here. Now to that, we're going to add the magnitude of that bottom force, which is just F, right? This minus sign is just the direction. So that magnitude F times some distance B, that gives us F times B. Now this, I can sort of simplify it to F times A plus B, right? I just distributed out the F and I got this. Now, to make this even more simple, I will just call this A plus B, I'll just call that D. So really, these two forces right here cause a moment about point O, and that is equal to F times D. Now, D is this entire distance between these two forces. Now, you can sort of see that if we had some body that these two forces were acting on, these two forces are not going to cause the body to translate or move in one direction. It's not going to move left, right, up, down. Instead, it's going to cause that body to rotate. And that rotational force is going to be whatever MO is from this calculation. So that is what we mean by moment of a couple. These two forces create a couple. They are a couple of forces. And those two forces are going to cause a moment. And that moment is simply going to be the magnitude of F times the distance between these two forces. So let's quickly do a example to really understand this. So imagine you have a force vector going this way, and this is two newtons. And you have the same vector, but going in the opposite direction. This is negative two newtons. Now, the distance between these two forces, I will say, is 3 meters. And our objective is to find the moment caused by these two forces, this couple, this force and this force right here. So according to this formula, it's just going to be the magnitude of F times the distance between them. Now, the magnitude of F is simply 2 newtons, and the distance between them is 3 meters. So I can say that the moment is going to be 6 newton meter. Now, that's just the magnitude. What about the direction? If you looked at the center point of these two forces, you can see that this force is going this way, so it's going to cause a clockwise moment about that point. And for the bottom vector, it's also going to cause a clockwise moment about that direction. So, this moment right here, if I were to write it in vector form, is 6 newton meter in the 
clockwise direction.